Jason and I have been married for over seven years. We dated for seven years before that. And we said, you know what would be really hip? Is if we got married and had a church wedding. Let's do that. We just surprise people and go that route. And I think it's been as hip as I thought it would be. I'd say it's more of like a music is our concubine situation between us. Because we can go to a concert, then we come together, and if we fight about it, that's sexy. If we agree, that's sexy. Because we met each other at a fairly young age. I met Alicia when I was 20, and she was like, oh, you're a baby. She was 21 and a half. <laughs> and we kind of grew together. I didn't have to become a popular jazz musician and then meet a woman after a show and try to impress her. I didn't have to do that. Yeah. I just had to take her to McDonald's and get some ice cream <laughs> or to we Ollie's did. and get some Chinese food and give oh, her a silver really dollar. Funny. You know, it's like the really small things. And let me also say then his mom, so she did pass totally unexpected and it came right after our wedding that we found out that she was sick so it was a real 180 for the whole family but what I learned from the power and the strength of sticking together like making that commitment to just be in each other's face that's like a lifelong model for us and I don't know that every couple can say that they made it through something like that together early on And now we have boys who are just going to be two and a half years old soon. Malcolm and Jonas, and they were preemies and they arrived three months early, but it was total fruit after this. We tend to avoid really rocky patches by dealing with more of the pebbles. I mean, if that's one thing my grandmother told us when we got married, he said, just make sure you communicate. <laughs> and that's what you really learn in a marriage. When wow. to admit when you lost and when you're wrong. So I'm still trying <laughs> to learn that lesson. <laughs> <laughs> that's what really makes me cherish the Alicia more and more. Cause that, I need that. Cause actually I can really cut off communication and Alicia really is able to kind of pull what is really being what really needs to be said out of each other. When Isn't you can, that great? Because what he's talking about is me nagging but he can make a poem of it and decide that to achieve what he wants to achieve like I said on this narrative path towards this golden jazz residency called his time on earth. <laughs> each kind of various stage of from dating to when we got married I think I know I said to Alicia what was I doing before we were married and then with children it's like <laughs> what were we doing before we had children? I know why didn't we appreciate like, all the free time? But you know like but no the good the good part and the bad part too <laughs> but the good part being like like wow this is so much better than what existed beforehand.